Fantastic. And okay, so mo moving sort of to further back, the an another area on the on the MPB is the the join at the bottom of the the B pillar. And so a standard you have. This is where your your rear wing as a component would join on to the sill, to the outer sill, and again the front wing would join on there. But these are these are areas where, on an original car being spot welded, you would have had a bit of movement, and you tend to find that they would would have been glued up with a silicon sort of compound before being painted, and that would always move and over time would crack. Again, allow water ingress and allow the sills to uh, to crack and rust and and just generally decay over time. So we again, all of these are seam welded, leaded, and then we actually we have a cover plate that goes over the top here, but we actually drill two holes here. The whole the entire bodies are zinc primed prior to, to any work happening on them. Um, but we then all of the, the sills internally, externally, in, in terms of the three sill compounds, they're all filled with cavity wax uh, and a modern modern sort of rust inhibitor. So, is it fair to say that um, what you what you achieved here at the early fifty is you by ironing out all these these known um, rust traps and 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 just they're not such design faults as such, but they're because of the way the cars were put together originally, you know, they're inherently um, water traps um, that will always have a particular type of um, wear, if you like, on it. They'll always, they'll always wear the same way on, a, on a, an old GT or a Roadster. Um, getting rid of them, I mean, one, I think you've made the line even even prettier than it already was, but two, you've just done away with you know with that kind of, um, that maintenance and the need to uh, look after the car in a particular way. It is, the, the whole ethos of the LE50 is owning a classic car without the hassles, aggravation, and specifically maintenance and long-term ongoing maintenance. So for us, removing any um, classic car rust issues of every 10 years needing some repainting going on okay. um, we, we deleted all of these so yeah. things uh, you shouldn't have to worry about rust the same as you do with any car so that they're all deleted um, everything is now much much stronger okay. and because originally that was a, a body shell panel and a wing panel held together with a small fillet strip mm -hmm. that would move a little bit would flex a little bit the whole shell is now seam welded so everything would have been spot welded um, is now seamed. So there's about three and a half to four days work on a fully built shell to seam weld it. Um, we take the car, it goes on a spit, gets rotated upside down for us to do the ends, then it's on its sides, and we then go around and seam weld it. Then we do the internals. Um, and it's a, it's a laborious process, sure. but the end results are incredible because you have a very, very stiff, rigid shell. Okay, and, and genuinely hand built, I mean, you know, as, as you say. So, um, certainly is. You know, and, and look, looking inside, I mean, what, we, we're kind of fortunate that this, this being the first shell and this being the first glimpse, we're able to see you know, what is under the, the fresh paint, i.e., you know, beautifully seam sealed. Um, you know, the, just the, the, the standard is excellent. I think um, most of us, if we were restoring our car at home, would you know would would die for a finish like this. I mean, it is it really is superb. So well, the in, the inside has had just as much time put into the preparation, um, the strength, for rust proofing. The only difference between internal um, and external is we're doing um, base and clear. Um, the in, inside of the car hasn't had the clear, okay. so it's had all of the press, all of the primers, been flattened. It's had a base coat. But we don't bother to, to do a clear lacquer um, on the on the internal part of the car.